said hell, even a blind hog finds an acorn every once in a while. <laughs> hey, you want company, boys? Sure, because I want to be missing needles tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Just That's calm it. down. Is down. Go away. Just go away. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I... Well... Well, you're sorry. Yeah, I heard you. But, I mean... Well, I... I this country is man unleashed. That's the thing, and it ain't my fault any more than it is man anyone else. Man unleashed? Then unleash goodness. Not just Hell's feeble brothers, sir. But how? I mean, all I know how to do is fight, I guess. I was set free to fight. Where's your son, Mrs. Down? Oh, where you think. Down the mine. Until he gets sick. Which won't be long, given how hard they work him. See, Bowman don't like him, so he gets the worst of it. Well, maybe I could go with... Well, maybe you could just leave us all alone. Maybe. Maybe you could just go fight some other battle. Hey, boy, your mom's a whore, little boy. Be quiet, Mr. Dockery. Oh. Why don't you shut up? Oh, oh all right. Oh. <laughs> Who's this, your daddy? My daddy died. And this man, he killed him. What are you doing here? Leave the boy alone. Why'd you kill his daddy? You after his mama? <laughs> Stop bullying the boy. Get out of my business, mister. Leave the boy alone. Or what? I'll kill you, too. You couldn't kill no one. Look at you, all ragged and sick and weak. Clear off, you goddamn hermit. Clear off! You and the horse son here. Can't even fight your own back. Come off me. Ooh, they go. You and that diseased whore. Now, who's next? Let the boy go. Let him go! Come on, me. Shame on you. He's just a goddamn boy! Let's get you out of here. But they're gonna kill me. Now I got no job, and they're gonna kill me. I've got some money. You and your mama can go someplace nice. Well, why are you doing this? I don't know. Listen, take this. All of it. Try and talk to your mama, and get out of here. Now run. I'll try. Good boy. I don't want to see you here again.
supposed to be our little adventure. <laughs> uh, All we need is each other. You all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well... You ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I... I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I... I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled. Stay quiet and still watch me. Oh. oh! Got it! Oh! Good 
shot. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure, I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh yes, at least. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source, it's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I'd barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Oh, Lord. No. We're done for now. Wolves, stay back. Must have smelled the dead rabbit. What are we going to do? been here I I'd be dead now you got a rifle yes well my my husband's I suggest you learn how to use it now come on let's get you home since we got here it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back people always talk about the simplicity of country life but there's nothing simple about any of this uh. I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. <laughs> it sounds off. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me, since we got here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, ma'am.
Okay there. Fine. Don't you worry about me. You new in town? Welcome to my stable. Good. That works. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama... Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. <gasps> sorry about all of this. Well, she ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, Willard's Rest. 
I'll see what I can do. Nice. Sure. Feller can do what he likes out here. I guess. You think I'm a nice man, dearie? A kind man? Sure. I ain't always nice. Sometimes I can be real nasty. Oh, God. Oh. That's enough now, partner. Oh, you're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. <sighs> Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. <laughs> Let's go.
I'm sorry it had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now, too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay, then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying, because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. She should be waiting for us just up ahead. Yep. Mama! Mama! Oh, oh. oh, oh. oh you so you know? Arch. Oh, we do. Get out of here. Go live someplace else. Start over. Here, take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking for forgiveness. It ain't about that. Don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for, for pride. I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. Which way is north? Headline. Hey. 
Say no. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life, we said. And now the two of you have betrayed me at once. Do you know what betrayal means, Bertram? No. It means hurting Miss Marjorie. Why, well, I thought you liked me. I've clothed you. I fed you. Bertram does like Miss Marjorie. Yes, and Miss Marjorie likes Bertram. So why don't you go and tell me where that nasty little Magnifico has run off to so I can get on with whipping that snot nose run into shape? He owes me. He owes us. Big time. Bertram and Marjorie. Would Bertram like a sherry? Bertram. Like Sherry. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Barkeep Sherry. Make it the cheapest one you have. Rat piss will do. His pretty dance. Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Good taking on. them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well, uh... Treachery! And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little <coughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. <coughs> oh, fuck it, he... <coughs> no! Bertram! 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 Woof, woof! Bertram! Put the nice man! Do something, you only eat him! Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Uh, Sherry! Right up! Easy, big guy. Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico. Hmm? But... <laughs> He's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Mm. I'm sorry. You 
gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her, and uh, you know that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. <sighs> from me hey partner come back You got the wrong end of this. Get up here. You're starting to irritate. What the hell are you pulling here? <coughs> oh, yeah, very clever. Oh, 
Where'd you gone? Magnifico! Can't magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy. <laughs> Wanna see a trick? Well, ain't you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah, so God long, damn it. dummy. Train to the Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stump of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> hey, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. That won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you I are going to be pulling know. rabbits out of your I ass know. until you are as old as you are tiny. I Put them up there. Uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Let him at the bar agree to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know. Come to Mama. Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again. Back together. Back together. Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you. Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye-bye. What I done to deserve you two? 